Good morning, Ashley. Earth to Ashley. It's like invasion of the body snatchers. Earth to Ashley Parker. Huh? Oh, morning, Morgan. I thought you'd be helping Louisa make her lunch. Well, she asked for help, but she wants to be independent. She really needs to learn to do things on her own. I sent her back to her apartment. She'll be fine. You can check on her if you like. So listen to this. So Aaron and I had a huge fight last night. Now he's trying to change who said what. He says, I never admit when I'm wrong, but he's the one that put a sealed jar of Cheese Whiz in the microwave. Oh, get this. Now hey, he's you, saying you that... be careful texting. Didn't you see the last memo? If Wally catches you, you'll be in deep shit. Yeah, right. Managers are never around. Oh, no way, Aaron. You are so full of... Ashley! Look, would you mind starting Louise's lunch? I'll be there in a minute. I can't. I have to call Wendell's mother. Oh, no. What? Did Aaron threaten you? Worse. My battery's dead. No wonder. Look, I'm sorry, Morgan. Aaron and I were up to all hours last night arguing. I'm whipped. You know, if that battery hadn't died, I'm not sure I ever would have talked to you again. It's like trying to communicate with a zombie. Look, I said I was sorry. You have my undivided attention. Look, Ashley, I have problems of my own. Work-related problems. I have to call Wendell's mother. Why? Oh, the damn accounting people can't send her Wendell's bills on time, so she whines to me or complains to Wally. Then I have to call and be all sweet and apologetic. Why can't they do something as simple as address an envelope, put a stamp on it, and drop it in one of those big red boxes? Look, I'll go make Louise's lunch, and I'll call Wendell's mother. We get along pretty well. well thanks, Ashley. I appreciate that. Good morning, Derek. Oh, hi, Morgan. We're in a good mood this morning. How are things? Fine. I, I remembered my meds again this morning. That's great. Your musical reminder system is working. Does that make you feel good? I feel good knowing that I won't have a seizure, but that's about it. Does it make you feel good? Yes, it does. Why? Well, for the same reason as you. I don't want you to have any more seizures. But I also feel good because it was your idea. You said... You'd remember to take your meds if you could have a song come on to remind you. I've always liked music way more than words. <laughs> well, it works. By the way, what song did you pick? Shaking All Over. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I wanted to talk to you about your laundry. Oh, great timing. It's in a pile beside my bed. No, Derek, I'm not offering to do your laundry. <laughs> Why not? Isn't it woman's work? No. First of all, laundry is not women's work. And more to the point, your laundry is not my job, it's yours. I hate it. I know. It's boring. I know. And it's never ever done. It's a fact that you can never have all of your clothes clean at the same time. Unless you wash the last load naked. And that didn't work out too well, did it? <laughs> hey, naked is the way I was born. I didn't know people would get so upset seeing something that's just so completely natural. Derek, if you asked people to name some things that are natural, how many of them would say a naked 45-year-old man bending over a washing machine? <laughs> Derek, remember the plan. What plan? The plan to get you independent. Oh, you call it the plan. I call it my dream. No wonder I didn't know what you were talking about. Well, your dream is to get out of here and into your own place, and to do that... I've got to get more independent. Yeah, yeah. My old man never did laundry. I think we're comparing apples and oranges. Okay. Eric Lindros had tons of concussions. You think he does laundry? Apples and bananas. Eric Lindros made millions of dollars getting those concussions. He could afford to buy his own personal laundry business. What I wanted to talk to you about is that you keep missing your Monday night laundry time. It messes with football in the fall and hockey in the winter. I want a Tuesday slot. Well, Tuesday's taken by other residents. Then I'll stink. Derek, you don't want to go to the dance on Saturday night in dirty clothes? Uh, I'll wash them Saturday afternoon. You're going to the train museum Saturday afternoon. Oh, um, then I'll... Um, hey, I have an idea. Don't football games have uh, like a 20 minute halftime? At least. Well, could you get a song to come on at the start of the game to remind you to put your clothes in the wash? Yeah. And then have it come on at halftime to remind you to put them in the dryer. Maybe. Yeah, I suppose. I'm always up during the game anyway to, to pee or to get a snack. I guess it would only take a minute to put a load in the dryer. Now you're cooking. What song will you choose? The Pretenders had a song called Watching the Clothes Go Round. It sounds perfect. <laughs>
But I've missed Monday night and I've got nothing to wear for the dance. I'll tell you what. If you agree to try this new plan, I'll write a note to the Friday staff to let you do your laundry then, but just this once, okay? Okay! Thanks, Morgan! You're welcome. <laughs> What's so funny? My uncle's name was Morgan. My aunt's name was Derek. Really? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> well, be seeing ya. Yeah. Bye. What the hell are you doing? Pardon me? I've been waiting for you to come and help me with Jonathan's shower routine. He's too big and uncooperative for me to do it alone. Right, sorry. Derek and I were just working out a plan for his laundry. Working out a plan? It sounded like you were negotiating. I wasn't negotiating. Well, maybe I was negotiating. I I'm trying to help him see issues and consequences. He needs constant reminding, but he is learning the link between behaving responsibly and getting into his own place. Are you ever a sucker? You'll get walked all over. Your job is to tell these people what to do and when and how to do it. It's in their own best interests. My job is to help my clients realize their potential. Oh, very nice. Look, Mother Teresa, don't try to reason with them. Just tell them what to do and what will happen if they don't. They respect firm rules and consistent discipline. Sticks work, carrots don't. That's not respect. That's fear. I'm dealing with my clients the way I was trained. Fad of the week. You think you're empowering the powerless? I say you're handing the lunatics the keys to the asylum. I can't believe you'd say that, Fred. And besides, what is it to you how I do my job? Your way is inefficient. It took you ten minutes to maybe get a guy to maybe do his laundry, and in the meantime, I missed my break. You missed your break. I think you and I have different priorities. What's that supposed to mean? You can draw your own conclusions. Look, Morgan, I've got a hell of a lot more experience than you, and it's real experience, not books and theories. Fred, I'll tell you what. You take your break and I'll go help Jonathan with start a shower routine. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not telling you what to do. You said you wanted a break. I'll go start with Jonathan, okay? Fine. Oh, could you do me a favor? Could you put that in the staff notices for Friday, please? Thanks. Could you do me a favor? I'll do you a big favor, honey. I'll teach you who is in charge here. Oh, it's only you, Josh. What do you think you're doing? Going for a smoke. Uh, you don't have time. You, you slept late. You'll be late for the center. Just a quick couple of puffs. No time. Here, eat this. What is it? Shredded wheat. I hate that crap. It tastes like sawdust. I wouldn't know. It has fiber in it. It's good for your tummy, Josh. I eat frosted flakes, Fred. They're bad for your teeth. Josh. They're my teeth, Fred. Suit yourself. You can starve if you want. I just want my morning smoke. You don't have enough time. No, you're not wearing that shirt. Why not? Well, look at it. You've slopped all over it, not to mention the cigarette burns. Who cares? It's my favorite shirt. You need to go and change now. If you don't, you won't earn your reinforcement or get your spending money for today. That's not fair. Okay, fine. Do what you want, but you won't be getting any money for today. Fuck you, Fred. I hate this fucking place! Take down! Take down! Fred's gonna do a takedown! Shut up! Make me! Get out of here! I said get out of my way! We're not in your way, Fred! That's right! There's a door right there! Derek, if you don't leave right now, you're not going to Tim's tonight for coffee. And not only that... Ah, oh, Derek! You're all ready to go. Great. Why don't you grab your lunch and your backpack and meet me at the elevator, okay? Okay! Josh, looks like you slept in again. I was going for my morning smoke and then Fred stopped me. Why? He tried to make me eat a bowl of that shredded shit. What shredded? Oh, that. Can you be ready in about ten minutes? Yeah, I guess. Why don't you get ready then? Okay. Congratulations, Josh. Now you'll spend the morning with an empty belly. And it'll be your fault, not mine. Now go and get dressed. I never ate breakfast anyways. And I'm getting dressed for her. Um, Fred, what was that all about? It's none of your goddamn business. I think it is. You overruled me. No, I didn't. I diffused the situation. You undermined my authority in front of them. Fred, I diffused the situation. When I walked in, it was pretty tense. I could have handled it if you'd let me. Look, Fred, I know you've got a lot more experience than I do. It's just that... 
It's just that what? I was going to say that sometimes you can get people to do what you want them to by getting them to want it too. I'm staff. They're clients. This is not let's make a deal. That's right. You've got the authority. But what if using that authority blows up in your face? At school, they told us we should have more than one way of doing things. Okay, Morgan, maybe you got a point this time. I mean, I'm not admitting I'm wrong. No, of course not. I was this close to solving that whole thing. Sure, sure. It's just that sometimes there's a better way to handle the situation than giving orders and shouting. Eight years left and I can retire. Eight years.